You're in the bike lane. Man, I am not gay. I have relationships with women and sex with men. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. Your hit on the stock exchange, it didn't work, my friend. And now you have my construction crews going around the city. Ew, what song is this? <laughs> it's Darude Sandstorm. I know what Darude Sandstorm sounds like. It's been on my running mix since 2001. What is this? It goes... Is that what we're listening to? This is what will happen the next time I ask for the name of a song, and the reply is the Root Sandstorm! Manifest. And you, sir, are you waiting to receive my limp penis? Now, get your hands off me. Good one. Better. Is it okay to say the N word? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Let's hear it. No. Let's hear it. Everyone loves a good comeback story, right? Sea Biscuit, The Mighty Ducks, Robert Downey Jr., uh, who Rocky. Else? Yes. Kim Kardashian. Kim. Well. Well, in the video, she gets she gets come on her back, I think. I've ever done. B12, living with abusive uncle and auntie. We lived on an old farm, no animals, just fields. My uncle goes off to a market and comes back with this filthy ass horse. Says it's bred from some old bloke's prize stallion. Auntie loves it for some reason because it's all muddy and she calls it dirty. She was a bit fucked up like that. I, being a countryside fag, liked horses and riding them. Then they turned on me saying, if we ever catch you riding our fucking horse, then we will beat the living shit out of you. They meant it. They'd done it before. A few days before, I'm messing in the fields with some old tractor tire I found. Dirty is just eating grass and shit next to me. Auntie and uncle come out every few minutes to make sure I'm not riding the horse. Get bored and climb inside the tire. Tire starts moving. The field wasn't flat. Can't stop. Auntie and uncle come outside to check on me. They see me rolling. They hating. Patrolling. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Have you ever saw a color of a blueberry? I've never seen anything, ever. That's the whole point. Wow. 
clutching, and he said the statement. Excuse me. I did One second. They're losers. They're just losers. If I wanted it, I would have got it. Wrong. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. Mr. Trump, as president, well, I'd, you I'd would, like I, to, I'd like I'm to go wrong. right to you, Mr. Trump. I'm, I'm Donald Trump. 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 I got along with all of them, and I did a damn good job in doing it. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One time I got drunk and went to jail for stealing tropical fish from this hotel aquarium and violated my parole, but the public defendant got my sentence down to 20 days in jail and 271 hours of community service. They had a nigga hemmed up with that weed whacker going around in traffic circles in Hollywood, Florida during rush hour. I used to do that shit in my steel toes because there's a gang of syringes in that grass, heard me? When them motherfuckers stick you in the foot, you gonna walk around suicidal thinking you got the germ. One time I got hungry, chained up the weed whack and ran across the street to grab me some Doritos and a snack. Cause that's my motherfucking snack. When I got over there, old boy rolled up with that street cart, and this is when I was first getting on that health kick, so I decided to get me a corn dog instead, try to get up on them vegetables, plus I got the ketchup for the tomatoes and just did it like a salad. But I still had to go in the store to get my mango madness snapple, cause he only had them squeezes and the bottled waters, and I ain't really in the mood for that cause I was thirsty. As I entered, the clerk was like, TJ, I just stocked that mango madness for you. Clockwork, my nigga. I'm strolling past the freezers, and for the first time I noticed they got very cherry snapple, lime green, mint, raspberry, kiwi, tiwi, summer peach, and snapper cot. Nigga, it's looking like a gay pride snapper promotion in this bitch. I go to the front counter, I'm like, hey man, when y'all get all these other snapples? They was like, we always had them. I said, you always had apple pie flavor snapple right here. He said, yeah. I said, why didn't you tell me? He said, cause you like the mango madness. I said, how you know that? He said, nigga, you buy it every day. You wanna know what they gave us for lunch every fucking day in Davie County Correctional Facility? Mango fucking Snapple. I never drank mango Snapple till I went to jail cause niggas don't drink Snapple, niggas drink Tang. Aspiring astronauts, you get that? Now I'm a free fucking man. Get to wear my own shoes, get to suck my own dick. I walk into a variety store, a variety store, and all I can see is mango fucking Snapple. And guess what else? They got corn dogs in the fucking store. Hell, I need a halal corn dog full. I'm noticing sunflower seeds, corn nuts, beef jerky, ding dongs, Twinkies. God rest them Twinkies, man. Mike and Nike, nigga, they got DiGiorno pizza thick crust. It's a microwave and burritos in this bitch, and all I ever notice is what? Mango Snapple. Why? Because all the nigga loves is all the nigga knows. And the nigga that don't know much don't want much. Through my daily practices, I had developed a subconscious habit. If all you know about is twerking to your pussy sweat burning in the ratchet ass club, more than likely, you ain't been to Cirque so late. That's that upper echelon shit. If all you know about is swinging on a female and posting the shit on Worldstar, I bet you ain't no member of the state assembly. And if all you ever do is sit in your house hating on a nigga mixtape, you probably diabetic, faggot. Need to see a fucking physician. Cause all the nigga loves is all the nigga knows, and a nigga that don't know much don't grow much. So I ask you this. What are your daily practices? And Here we go. 290 pounds. What do you think it is? Tip the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> You're not right. Burrito's back in play. Here's a catch raise. Come on, Marita. Come on, Sean. You got to buzz in. There it comes, Marita. Keen as mustard. You're right. <laughs> 280 pounds in the bonus, Marita. Can you solve her? Here we go. <laughs> Marita. Song and Dance Man. Song and Dance Man's good. It's not the one. Sean. <laughs> it's another one. John, sorry, Marita. Long story? Long story's good, it's not the one. Keep pressing, Marita. Cut the story short. Press again, and tell the question. Sean. To cut a long story short? Cut a long story short, that's the one we want. <laughs> Here comes the bonus. Marita 
Dennis got 235 pounds. Sean's got 1,295 pounds. But, ladies and gentlemen, I have 260 pounds in the bonus bank. It's got to be one. I'm going to wipe the board. The first person with the right answer wins 260 pounds. Watch your screens. Concentrate. Here we go. Yeah!